Hi guys, today we're gonna explore all the Norwegian feelings, emotions and love. Everything is happening in this park behind me, behind these bars. All you need to know about is that Norwegian in love with you? How do Norwegian express love? Why can we not say I love you? And a dozen more things. And how do we express it? And yeah, and are we expressing it? Yeah, I'm not sure. And in the end of the video, you will have some dark and nasty secret about this love roller coaster park. It's ugly, I promise you. Are you ready? Come on! Where are we going into we this are, cave? We are, we are going deep into Norwegian emotions. And you can see Norwegians, Norwegian emotions, they are secretive, foggy, hidden. Obscure, hidden. And it's not easy to know whether a Norwegian loves you or not. It's not easy to know if he or she really wants to uh, hook up with you. But in this park it's all wrapped up. It is. If it's love, emotions between a father and his son, for instance, as you can see behind me here, no problem. Uh, there's not a lot of words. Uh, I'm not sure if this father ever expressed to his son the words, I love you. But still, with, with kids, our own kids, of course, we can express some kind of uh, deep emotional bond. You will see some of it here around. But when it comes to love, marriage, relationship and so on... Uh, Let's go. Uh, yeah, um, what? Let's run. What? Yeah, no. Okay, maybe Norwegian women knows or might sometimes say something to you that you will understand that they love you or care for you but when it comes to Norwegian men it's dead solid it's stone cold and you have to lurk those emotions uh, out of him but that doesn't mean that he doesn't love you and he won't say it but there are signs and that's what we're gonna explore <laughs> Behind me here you can see a man, a Norwegian man, maybe a French woman have met or whatever. The, the really most important things that you have to look for, the nuances, the details. You can see that these two are really synchronized. And when a Norwegian man or a Norwegian woman is in love, they will feel synchronized. This could be out on the dance floor and the movements, everything is synchronized, everything is like in symmetry. But no words will be expressed. You have to look at the nuances, you have to look at the synchronized movement. The if a, yeah, if a Norwegian is synchronized with you like this, and it's no kukaracha because we cannot dance with our hips, it's only up here in our shoulders, then you know that there's love happening. Show us the Norwegian dancing. Not moving the legs. Not moving the and legs. The hips. Not moving the legs. Only up here. But it's synchronized. But you feel cool. Very cool and very in love, I think. But the other person won't notice if she or he doesn't realize we are synchronized. And people may, might watch you. Of course. So, when you're coming home from your synchronized dance out on the disco with a Norwegian and uh, you're getting home for a coffee or uh, whatever you do to get someone in and you are li listening for words, forget it. We never express words and absolutely not on our first date. So, what you're gonna look for 
are our movements, our actions, what do we really do? And as you can see, this French woman with this Norwegian guy behind me, uh, he is, he really likes her. She he, got a tour. Yeah, he will never tell her that she li uh, he likes her, but you can see that he likes her. He expresses it by carrying her, I'm not sure where, to the kitchen or to the garage or who knows. But you have to look for the movements, the actions, okay? As you can saw the synchronized dance, the throwing in the air, then, then you are lucky because then that night had been good. Actually, most of the time in a relationship in Norway, <laughs> the scene behind me here, it's typical. Two persons not talking to each other, not looking at each other's eyes, and very solid, stone cold, and just standing there. And Do hope... they love each other? Yes, these are deeply in love. But because they don't have to talk. Uh, yeah, and, and we can enjoy silence. We are not afraid of that awkward silence in a relationship when nobody talks. We, we, we can handle all that. He That's no problem. He, he, he might want to uh, mount her IKEA uh, shelf. Absolutely, and there's so much or passion fix here. Or her car, her uh, and, and there's so much passion here because these persons have trusted each other to be silent together. And that's a clue if you wonder, are you in a sound relationship with a Norwegian and everything turns silent? Yes, you are. This is love. This is how we express it. Okay, but there are times in a relationship with a Norwegian that you will not know what's happening inside, for instance, his mind. He will have demons crushing in, he will have dark, depressing thoughts, and he will struggle, but he will never tell you, and you will know nothing about it, and you can only scratch your head and guess what's happening with him. Why is he silent? And but why is he inside a ring? Because in Norway we have our personal space and there are things that we will not share. There are things that we will struggle only alone with. But Try that, to pretend to be like him. Yeah, but you that... Be him. Absolutely. Be but, him, be him. Ah, Try to get out, out of your way. Our inner demons are really hurtful. But no worries. But After a while he will be tired of his ring and he will go out throwing you somewhere else and you know he'll back happy again. And what about your uh, form? Uh... <laughs> my love, my way of loving, I share a lot with this, this guy. I can feel it. So do, how do you express love? Do you say it? Is it action? Whatever. You know we are dying to know. Subscribe, push the bell and let us know. Okay. In this uh, emotional roller coaster horror show of a love park, the uh, statue behind me called the Angry Kid is the most famous kid. And why the most famous statue of them all? And why do you think? It's because he expresses sound, he expresses feelings with his mouth. This is the only scene, the only statue you will see. Uh, making a sound because in Norwegian relationship we say nothing we are stone cold except this little child who and hasn't grown up to be a real Norwegian uh, yet he's and he's still really unfiltered. Ah! He's, yeah. still he's unfiltered filter. here you can see real emotions you can see it's expressed with your mouth almost words and that's why it's famous but uh, after this kid reaches two years it's all gone because the angry kid will soon end up like this kid a typical solid not talking not expressing anything Norwegian ready to enter the Norwegian world 
And hey guys, I promise you that this love carousel horror show has a dark secret. And the artist, the, the one that made this, ah, he made it before Second World War. And uh, look down there. And is our love really inspired by this shit beep or this uh, ugly? I hope not. I hope this is just an error. What do you think, guys? Why is that nasty Remember sign over there? Subscribe. Yeah, push subscribe the and push the bell and uh, let us know. Is this love? Well, Norwegians, we don't use the word I love you. Uh, we don't use it uh, in a relationship that much. If we say it, we say it in private. It's not that we express it uh, in public, like here in a park. And most Norwegians will feel that when they try to say the words I love you, the words will grow here in their neck and it's building up like they can all, all, almost get it out, but they can't. So what do they do? They do like this. Actually, Norwegians, we you will often hear this uh, question. Don't you English guys have, an, have a real word for I love you? And why do we ask that? Because we think that the English Americans are saying I love you, I love you too much. And in Norway, love is not like that. Love is something sacred, something alone, something just small and not protected and naked in your heart. And if you say it and don't get it back, then you can go to uh, Antarctica. Uh, 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 you will be crushed. But how come everything is so, so massive? Yeah, but we are solid, and I mean, this is just the dishwasher Everything thing. Is in let's, let's go and see when we are paying our bills. You know, and you have to pay the rent, you have to pay for the electricity, you have to... Yeah, you know those trivia, oh, 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 <laughs> trivial things. How much did you pay for the theater last uh, night? I paid a lot. The theater was not anything the popcorn cost more than the theater yeah but what about rent rent you earn more than me yeah but how many children do you have uh i'm not sure but uh what about the dishwasher it's broken i hate you yeah i hate you too what? you won't what? see that what there's a thing over there that uh, <laughs> Uh, D-I-C-K over there? Uh, yeah, uh, that gate or maybe no. this? Of course, uh, Norwegian, we are not very... How do you... Oh, no, uh, well, we Norwegians are not very artistic. We are not good at like hinting, showing metaphors. Oh no, we are up front. This is it. And of course, what you see behind me, I mean, you don't have to be a rocket science to understand the meaning and the some yeah, it's symbolic. A okay, it's a phallus figure, but that's not the most disgusting part with it. Come and see how we express our, can I say, sexual <laughs> And uh, this is the ugly truth in this park, and maybe, I'll, no, 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 or maybe, no, 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 I hope not. But Easy. Uh, this Remember, is no because this is a yeah, and this is a trauma actually because this is like the peak of this park. You understand what I mean? This is like the Senor Dicky of the park, the phallus of the park. Of course it is, and it's nothing wrong with that. You have phallus figures all over the world, but this one, this Norwegian, is gross. He has put. Uh, grown-ups, women and men, together with children, babies, crawling in this death uh, 
sex uh, thing. Some scholarships have said that this is some of the nastiest thing that they have seen because the symbolization with this grown up they are and too close to too each other close, genitals. Too close. And it's when you start looking at it, it's uh, and is Norwegian love in the end? Uh, no, 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 I don't think so. So, it, so instead of saying I love you, I could puke. That would mean something. <laughs> so if they puke, no. Well, puke is also If a, they puke in your cab, they love you. Yeah, and if we puke together and we dare to puke together, we are in love. <laughs> so guys, what do you think about uh, this uh, Norwegian love carousel horror show of a park? I know. You know? Yeah. Okay. But I won't tell until you comment. And yes, you guys have to give us the explanation. Okay, for next time, and maybe not this horror love scene, a new video. See you guys. Bye bye.